Hi, and welcome to my fifth tutorial on Unity, this time on key input events, as in that when you press a key, something happens. So let's get started. So I've got my tutorial scene here, with just a platform, the player and some text. And for my next trick, I'm going to make this monkey disappear. But first, we need a monkey. So... Uh, 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 monkey. So back in Unity, we have our monkey, and this monkey is just here to use as an example object. So now that we have our monkey, we can get into the code part. So how this works is that you drag the script onto your object, and in the drop down there's a bunch of letters. And this is where you put what actually happens when the selected letter is pressed. Now there is actually a variation for this script where instead of a drop down it has just a string where you put in a letter. This is case sensitive though. This version is just in case you have some like soldier boy keyboard or something with weird keys. This is what the code looks like by the way. And uh, I, I would I would tell you what the code means but uh, yeah um, yeah uh, mm. This code was just written to me by this really helpful guy called XFF0, so thanks to him, you saved my life. Back to the code. This is what the second script has to look like, so, yeah. Oh, and also, if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of, oh man, what does that say? Oh jeez, I forgot a semicolon. You can just go to my GitHub link in the description to find all of the code. And from there, you can either copy and paste it into a new C-sharp script, or the preferred method, where you click on code, then press download zip, and if you open that up, you just get all the C sharp script files that you can just drag into Unity. So now that we have all the code, make an empty game object, and then put in the script twice for each letter. I put it as H and S. Now click the plus in H and drag the monkey into the empty space. Then click the drop down, hover over game object, and click set active ball then leave it unchecked. Now with S just do the same thing but check the box. Now when we press H it will hide it and when we press S it will show it. A mistake I made though is that S also moves the player backwards so just make sure the buttons aren't the same as anything else. Now saying that I then immediately changed it to A and B with A being move left. Yeah I know, smart. Now I'm adding a canvas with an image on it and some text that says pause to make a pause screen. Now I'm going into the game object and adding a function for tab. And when pressing tab, it shows both the pause screen and a second empty game object and hiding itself. The second game object is used for hiding the pause screen and showing the original game object and hiding itself. Then I change the key code for the monkey to Q and E. And as you can see, we can now press tab and it brings up the pause menu screen. Now I'm making it so that when you press tab it also shows the mouse, so you could click on any buttons that may be there. I'll show how to show and hide the mouse in a separate tutorial. Anyway, now that you can see that when I press tab, the mouse is shown. And for an added bonus, I made it disable the player movement script as well, so when you press pause, the player no longer takes inputs. That'll be it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video and you'll always be up to date. Thanks and goodbye.